quarantine got you down, we're back, baby. <clears throat> Getting back in the groove. It's been two months. We never would have let you just fade off into nothing. We got you, fam. We got a brand new review for you, so stick around for the Yankee Hill Resonator K back in the great outdoors at Londonary Fish and Game. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's cue that B-roll. Despite me kind of, you know, poo-pooing a little bit the Turbo K that Yankee Hill has come out with in the past, they have a brand new Resonator K, which is their shorter version of the Resonator. The differences between the Resonator and the Turbo is the Turbo is a 556 5, can or 223 for all you sticklers out there, and the Resonator is geared in the 30 cal. So why do you care? It's it's essentially the same thing, right? Nay nay moose breath. Guess what? They've made great improvements that you know I, I kind of feel like I want to take credit for, but I'm sure I wasn't the only one that said it. They made a couple trade-offs in kind of that package you get right out of the gates. Just to recap, the Turbo K was a shorter version of the Turbo. They gave you a direct thread end cap, they gave you a flash hider or muzzle brake, and they gave you the can itself. Now, one of the biggest issues I had with that was that you had to buy a tool on top of that to work with it, and even then, it was kind of a little clunky to actually try and get that thing secured down. So we had some thread kind of walking off issues. Not anymore. They give you not one, not two fancy dancy little wrenches. And those make sure that that can stays threaded and secured exactly what it's supposed to. They even changed the machining kind of bit on the end there so make sure that you actually have a good solid place to grab both the adapter for the QD and the can itself. That trade-off that we were talking about is, is you no longer get all the little you know extra trinkets to attach any way you want. Not a big deal if you do want the direct thread it's only a $65 part. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts of it. Why do you want a 30 cal can? Well a 30 cal can is actually for one Yankee Hill is already very budget friendly it is very consumer conscious. If you get like say the Turbo or the Turbo K, you can use that on 22s, on 17 HMR, on you know 556, but that's kind of where the fun stops. With a 30 caliber can, you can actually use that on uh, everything from generally like a 17 HMR all the way up to a 300 wind mag, especially when you have like the ink canal baffles they use with the stainless steel tubeless design, which makes sure that you can use it on everything from you know, your favorite 22 plinker all the way up to a 300 wind mag. We happen to test it today on not one, not two, not three, but four fantastic guns. We started all the way up at the top with the 308, the 762 gas powered. And I gotta say, I did not have big hopes. It is not a, a big, big can to be absorbing all that shock and all that power that is the 308. However, comma, I'm here to tell you, you could shoot this without ears on. I'm comfortable in saying this is hearing safe, you probably don't want to do it for an extended period of time, however, you can, absolutely. The 308 did great, and in fact, the gas was not even something to be concerned with because it was not noticeable in the least bit, as you can see in the footage. You didn't really notice any kind of gas until we start getting down into the 5.56. We ran it on also a 300 Blackout AR pistol. The gas wasn't that bad at all because we were running a 265 grain Hush Subsonics. It's not as quiet as I would have liked it to have been, especially when you compare it to a full size 30 caliber can, but again, hearing safe. You know, you're not doing any kind of Fallujah runs in your basement or neighborhood with this thing, which we wouldn't recommend you doing anyway, by the way. So it's not as quiet as like a full size 30 cal can. But again, uh, if you're looking at hunters, if you're looking at recreational, maybe your first can that you want to go across multiple different firearms, Another great option. You can also put this, yes, on a 5.56. You do need to get a different muzzle adapter, but as you can see by the video, it works with not only their direct thread cap, it also works with their muzzle brake and their flash hider for both 223, which is your half by 28, and for your 308 and 300 blackouts, you're gonna get your 5 eighths by 24. It was at this point that the mic decided to just cut off for no reason. So instead of having you listen to overhead planes and crickets with crappy internal mic, I'm gonna do the best voiceover routine I can.
Because the versatility of the 30 bit caliber can as a whole, which as you know, can is cool kid talk for a suppressor, we wanted to test not just on a 308 and a 300 blackout, but also on the 223. To do a fair apples to apples, we compared the Resonator K to the Turbo K, as they're both fairly close in dimensions. Shockingly, they sounded almost identical, but most likely due to a larger caliber hole in the Resonator, because it's not made for 223. Good? Yeah. I see. I didn't hear that as being quiet. I heard them as like identical. They were close. I think. I don't know. Yeah. But that's K to K versus the full turbo. Mm. When we put the Resonator K up against the full size turbo, the turbo, of course, sounded noticeably better. But there's also way more expansion room between baffles internally. Plus, it's caliber correct, so it's not exactly rocket surgery to figure out why. While 30 caliber cans are versatile, sometimes the exact caliber is still better. Generally, most of us nowadays are going to start running shorter pistols and guns and it's kind of relevant. 223 or 556, depending on whatever your flavor of, you know, mil spec is, it's not a fun round to suppress. It's, you know, 55 grain ball ammo is just not that common subsonic and it's not something financially I want to get into for 500 or 1000 rounds. We ran just straight up Federal XM 193 and whether it's brown box, white box or whatever color box you're most into, <laughs> bulk ammo will for the most part perform similarly. I mentioned hunting before because in New Hampshire you can hunt suppressed for funsies and because there's no moving action we also tested on this super sweet custom encore single shot rifle made for us by House of Arms chambered in 300 blackout. <laughs> that sounds way quieter than it did earlier. It really does. Not nearly quiet as other full-size 30 caliber cans we've tried in the past, however its size makes it a viable and inexpensive option without adding a ton of, you know, length on the end to your muzzle. You know, so when your hunting rifle is getting trekked through the woods or you're aiming for long periods of time, it's not going to wear you down. You can still hunt, hearing safe and not have to, you know, sacrifice your hearing for that one shot. So to wrap it all up with a tidy bow, the Resonator K is an affordable option that works equally well on a very wide variety of calibers, making it a worthwhile investment for you as your first suppressor or even if you just want to add it to the arsenal. At around 570 bucks, you get all the tools you need, your choice of flash hide or break, nothing more, nothing less, and all the accessories to swap it over from one caliber to another don't break the bank versus some of the other silencer manufacturers out there. We loved the Turbo and we had some issues with the Turbo K, which they seem to have, you know, improved it with the T2 version. The Resonator adds all the accessorization of the successful Turbo lineup and added the versatility of a 30 caliber can, so I can honestly say it was the most consistent volume and tone across multiple calibers. We noticed almost no pitch or hearing safety difference across all of them. They are all made behind enemy lines, just one state south of us in the state of Massachusetts, by the people and for the people. Are dollars more important than decibels to you? Let us know down in the comments. What is the most cost-effective suppressor you like? And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you made it this far. It really helps us out. And now, to make it super awkward, I'm going to kung fu this ending. You stay safe, check your chambers, and we'll see you on the range.